What is an adult problem you were not prepared for? Back hurting just from sleeping wrong. How often you have to clean to maintain a clean house. The increasing speed of passing years. Having nieces only makes the problem worse. Their age and the perceived number of years past doesn't align at all for me. Deciding what to eat for three meals a day seven days a week. Realizing some friends are shitty and you shouldn't be friends with them anymore. Aging parents' pensive face. Trying to make friends. Going from having tons of friends to really having no one. How quickly fruits and vegetable actually go bad when you buy them yourself. How expensive lamps are. How expensive living is. I worked all through high school. But my only bill was the gas I put in my car. 30 hours a week on minimum wage goes a long way on shopping sprees and nail salons when you don't have any other expenses. I develop nasty spending habits. Not the value of a hard-earned dollar my parents were hoping for. I'm not in crippling debt or anything. But sometimes having to spend money on groceries or utilities depresses me more than it rationally should. In my mind my mama should be about 40. She has always seemed to be so strong but sometimes I want to fall apart when I see her take several attempts to stand up or make excuses about driving on the interstate. She will be 70 soon but to me she is still young. I don't know what I'll ever do without her. Adults never actually growing up. Being able to not cook the same meal every day while balancing hundreds of other tasks. I will always admire my mom for how she was able to cook, have a clean house, work 43 hours and help her children do homework all while taking time to work out at the end of every day. I could mention other common problems like money management and common tasks that I haven't mastered. But what really hit me like a train was the actual transition of adulthood. I am talking about having to make my own appointments and having to keep tabs on myself instead of handing every single document to my mom. I realized how unorganized I was when I found my birth certificate in the same drawer where I have junk receipts, pain, arthritis is fucking horrible and early onset autoimmune arthritis is worse than just having an ache in one or two joints. I hurt all the time. Everywhere and everyone just assumes you're faking it or you're a pill popper. I am not going to live another 20 years with this pain like my dad did. The constant obsessive feeling that I'm fast running out of time to have an enjoyable life even. Though I'm only in my 20s. When you're not in school surrounded by your peers. Meeting new people and making friends is much harder and in many cases almost impossible. And dating is a whole other ball game. Then again for a lot of us that ISNT too different from how high school was anyway. Turns out, you get fat from overeating. Having others rely on you is an emotional ballast. I can barely stay sane myself. Let alone carry someone else. Having to have a genuine purpose in life. Dealing with untreated childhood trauma. Being the mature one. The lack of time for myself. Life is all work. Housework. Yard work, child care, bills, emails, phone calls, no one telling you to stop procrastinating, crippling loneliness and romantic rejections. Muhart is just dead. And now I feel empty inside. I was in no way prepared for the fact that one dark horrific day I would sit on my own balls. Which is definitely something someone should have mentioned. It left me feeling different somehow. People rely on you both your parents and your kids. You become the filling in a responsibility sandwich and the weight of it is crushing at times. How fucking dark life actually is. Like, is this all we do? Just grind away at jobs we try to care about, but no one else cares about. Barely able to afford our bills, houses, debts. Constantly struggling with relationships and trauma and watching our political system fail us. Our country fail us. Our systems fail us. Like, this life is not what happy. Adolescent me dreamed it would be. Sorry to get real dark on y'all. You have to buy insurance but can never use the insurance or else no one will sell you insurance. Just how hard it is to lose weight once you're past your 20s.
Watching my parents get old. Dealing with people. So stressful. Medical issues and the costs associated with them. I went from a late 20s guy with no issues other than the occasional cavity to a late 30s guy with spondylolysis, OSA, anxiety, RLS, and hypertension in under 10 years. It's crazy that I am taking medications and trying to improve my health because my doctor said I could die in 20 years if I don't shape up. Seriously, I just want to drink beer, play guitar, hang out with the missus and maybe smoke some weed now and then but these last years have hit me like a ton of bricks. And from what I understand it keeps getting worse. Gross pay versus net pay holy shit. How many adults I actually dislike. When I was younger, I thought my parents liked all our neighbors, all my teachers, all my coaches, etc. I've since found out that they thought most people were morons. Kind of like I do. My job is destroying my mental health but I need a job so I can pay my bills. If I reduce my hours for better work-life balance, I lose my insurance during a global pandemic. No one else is going to kill that bug. Preparing for retirement. Of course everyone knows they will stop working at some point but now that I'm 40, it feels like I really need to get it together. Am I going to continue bad habits that negatively impact my health or will I finally make changes to be healthier later? My new favorite worry, will I really have enough money to retire and live comfortably enough to have a good of quality life? 10 years ago this all seemed so far away. Now, it feels like I'm speeding to the next phase of my life. Clicks and bullies are just as bad in the office as they were in school. Woman here. Random chin hairs. Popped up in late 30s. I feel betrayed. Having my daughter diagnosed with a brain tumor. There was no way to ever prepare for that. Falling in love at an older age but watching life speed by so fast. Wished I'd met her 30 years ago how ignorant so many people are, and seemingly pleased with being so. Well my dishwasher broke today. I lost my wife of 35 years. There is no way to prepare and really no way to describe that loss. Peeing when I laugh too hard. Hello, realizing that not even your parents have all the answers. And finally understanding that they were just figuring it out as they went just like we are. Not having an all-knowing figure to give you the answers to all your problems is the pits and I hate it. Having a gorgeous woman you are crazy about and very turned on by in bed. And having your penis not cooperate. No, it's not you. You're the best thing ever. I'm tired and my chronic pain is flaring up and I had three drinks instead of two and I'm in my thirties. Come on lil soldier. Fight the good fight. Being sued. Hangovers. When I would drink a lot during college I would wake up the next and feel totally fine. Thought maybe I was immune to hangovers. Then at some point in my late 20s they started to hit me and hit me hard. The amount of family get-togethers you don't want to go to after you get married. Debt. Loneliness. Social isolation. A society with less and less human contact almost by the year. Getting dumped by someone you've been dating as an adult after months of thinking. You know this one is different. I really think we can make this work. Writing for a friend of course. Basically being alive. No joke. I never planned on living this long. Edit, I'm 24 now. Five years past what I thought would be my end. I'm so sorry that so many of you feel the same way about yourselves. I hope you either find your peace or a reason to live. However small. Meanwhile, plan as if you're going to live till 70 so you're not stuck up the creek without a paddle. Stay safe. I love all of you. How quickly your knees will age. Dusting. It never ends. Sustaining motivation to continue my responsibilities such as money and shelter. Drifting away from school friends because moving away. But then struggling to make new friends in a new city. Dental costs. Not only is it just expensive it is so much more choice. Unlike say a broken arm where you have to get it fixed a chip tooth or other minor need is on. You even the dentist will be like up to you man. 
Then on top of that the insurance for dental is just about the worst thing on the planet. It also seems arbitrary. $900 night guard that doesn't actually fix the problem and will likely still lead to major issues in the future. Sure no problem insurance paid in full. 2000 on realignment to actually fix the thing causing the grinding issue. No way in hell. You are over 19. How much freaking money I'd have to spend on toilet paper. And this was a decade before COVID-19 TP hysteria. Trying to find the right job. I'm a very indecisive guy. Dealing with your parents acting like children. Having disabling illnesses before I was 40. Upkeep of mental health. Not being able to sleep due to stress. Yet here I lay. Exhausted but wide awake. When I was younger I could sleep anytime. Anywhere. If you're lucky enough to land a nice 9 to 5. 40 hour a week job to support a family, you have anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes a day to yourself for any kind of leisure that doesn't cost money. Having a presentable place and debating myself on why it matters. It always frustrated me when my parents had a guest over and we had to deep clean the whole house. Like if it's my close friend of 8 years visiting. Why do I care what they care about my cleanliness? And yet, Every time people are over I find myself cleaning the apartment up for some reason. I have no bloody clue what I'm doing. I surely don't feel like an adult. Being single and childless at 30 doesn't help. Most days, I feel like a kid playing dress up. I wasn't expecting that. Not having a driving license. Still trying to get it at 27 to get a job. But can't get a job without the car and cycle goes on currently in education. However they screwed me over a lot on money and I've ended up worse off because they didn't pay me in full. Scotland on benefits for studying. But I know it'll work out and I'll dig myself out and it will all pay off smiley face. Only having like 4 hours to myself after work. How am I supposed to be at prey another 6 times? Losing people, loved ones passing away is the hardest. Then there's the nasty breakdown of personal relationships, family relationships and friendships. Then there's the sad drifting apart that happens when life takes you on a different path to a person you were once really close to. All the DIY you have to do when you own a house. Adults with the maturity of middle schoolers. Still not prepared for death. If anything happens to my husband or my son I'll just have to shut down and hope my mom or my brother is able to pull me out of deep depression and tell me what to do. The endless teeny tiny implications of adult freedom. You have your own medical insurance plan now. You need to pick a primary care physician. Okay who should I pick? Up to you. But like where should I start? How do I know which doctor to choose? Up to you. How do other people find one? They just pick the one they like. I don't know any of these doctors. Having a kid or kids is insanely difficult. Especially if they have any added issues. No one told me that my wife's flesh would tear open and nearly kill her just to have a child. Not all babies can breastfeed. How about the toll staying up all night then working most of the day? Every day. Just to keep the little thing alive. Working to afford your student loan debts. Rent. Food. Car insurance maintenance and if you're lucky. Hopefully have savings. The emotional toll raising a child takes on you, your partner and your relationship. Having kids might be a choice. But sometimes it's not necessarily your choice. Hell, living with another person and being dependable, emotionally stable and accountable is a never-ending struggle. Trying to keep a house clean or anything that resembles an attempt at presentable. Hearing about your friends and acquaintances from high school passing away every year starting from the year you graduate. Trying to learn to fix everything and anything because you can't afford to pay someone else to do it just so you can afford to maintain your poverty. Also, democracy in a relationship sometimes really sucks. Whose family should you live closer to? Whose work opportunity do we pursue? How do we balance who gets time away from the kids and what chore will you do in said time off? Peter Pan had it all figured out. Coping with mental illness and mental disability. 
buying cheese. Why is it so expensive? And no, I will not get the floppy kind. Holding back from murdering my neighbors on a daily basis. The hassle of making easy food. It feels so much easier to just go out and get food and to make the food at home. I don't lack food at home I just can't be bothered to cook it. It's entirely possible to lose your job through no fault of your own. My knees constantly feeling like they are going to fall apart. Hemorrhoids. The ignorance of people in high places. I used to think at a younger age that someone was where they were due to being the best person for that position or the most qualified. Now I see it's more about you who you know. Tenure. False perceptions. And ratios to name a few. How to determine if your partner is enough. Life can be so stressful sometimes that you and your partner do not communicate correctly. And you don't know if it's because you're not meant to be or if you are both just overwhelmed.